Coach, how much of this win was a combination of a good third period, but great goaltending through most of the second to allow you to get to the third? A hundred percent. You know, just telling Alex that too. That I mean, that uh, he kept us in when we needed to be kept in, and you could tell. I was telling him, <clears throat> excuse me, the competitive fire that he has. Like he wasn't happy with his the game in in Nashville, and he comes right back, and you could tell he was on point and everything today. Especially because you guys have given up goals in bunches, and right after they scored, they had two, three really good looks on the net before you guys were able to take the lead again. Yeah, no, <laughs> that was the first thing that was going through my mind. Here they come, and uh, and they had a great chance, and Alex, you know, shut the door at that point, and that was that was a huge a huge play for us. The insurance goals, though, then in the third after Eric's goal, pull away and just kind of bury an opponent. Yeah, and that, we haven't done that, you know. And so, I mean, I was really happy for the guys that they were able to do that and get the get the third one, you know, right off the bat. I mean, we talked about, you know, they were going to push really hard right off the bat, and if we could meet their push for the first five minutes or so, then I think get and then get into the into the game um, just. The routine of the game, and we'd be fine. But for us scoring that first goal right off the bat, I thought it was uh, it was a real dagger for them. Why uh, the Felino uh, Hartman pairing? Why whatever center you put on that line, they, they seem to go. Well, it's it's work. Mm -hmm. They work hard and and uh, they like playing with each other. And I just thought Miko would be a good fit with those guys because we, you know, we were trying to get them against Kopitar, and uh, uh, they weren't going in any sequence they would go Kopitar every second shift and miss four shifts yeah. so it was hard to judge when we're changing first but uh, uh, I thought uh, they they really relish their role those two guys and they know they're out there to to stop the other opponent's top line and they're probably playing uh, more minutes now as a, as duo than they've probably ever played in the NHL. So it's uh, I think they're they're relishing that as well. Do you, do you think that was McClellan doing that intentionally? I mean, McClellan uh, he has a lot of esteem for Miko. Uh, do you think he was trying to purposely get? Him away uh, I think they were there? trying to get him away, you know, from him and trying to you know, and that's um, a good reason why you know we're really happy to have Eck back because you know it, w these teams like that have good really good. Uh, like lines or top two lines even, and you can throw Miko and Eck out and sort of double team them. I think is is really advantageous to us. After being shut out, just to have so many different contributors, how encouraging was that to see? It's you know for a team that hasn't scored a lot, anytime we can get different contributors, then you know that they're gaining a little bit of confidence every day. So I mean, hopefully that continues uh, to go on. I think every line scored a goal and. And you've been around me long enough. That's you like. I'd like to see that balance. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can petition to get these green jerseys on the road, Bruce. Like, what can you do that's working at home? Well, there'll be green jerseys up? on the road Wednesday. Well, but the ones that you wear. <laughs> oh, the, the so. other team will be wearing them, though. <laughs> what, what, uh, what's translatable that's working here that you need I, to do on the road? I, you know, I, I don't know right now. I mean, you know what? The more I looked at it, we played a really good game in Nashville too. I mean, we're just sometimes we're been snake bitten a little bit and then the first uh, I thought the first three or four games you know we didn't have our, our our gelling or our rhythm yet but I think we're starting to get there a little bit and um, this is a team as long as I've been here have has been an, a, a good road team so I think at some point it's going to pick up and if it does I mean the way you're playing at home the way you're home heavy in the second half you can try to tread water on the road I mean is that the goal now you know, I mean, if after 18 we could be 9-9 nine and nine, uh, or better, that would be a real feather in our cap, I think. And then Bruce starting to get a break from, I mean, some of the top competition you guys have faced through those first 10. When you see an opponent who's struggling to take advantage, like you kind of did tonight, maybe you get a few more of those games coming up. Well, you know what, I don't think that way, though, because every time you think you got something easy in this league, then all of a sudden they come up and bite you. And, and I looked at the, you know, even though their record was four and six, they hadn't played a team with a losing record either this year. So, I mean, uh, it was, uh, uh, you knew it was going to be a tough game. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Go home. Yeah. Do you like Dan's shirt tonight? Huh? Do you like Dan's shirt? I like Dan's shirt. You know, yeah. it has that good little pink, pinkish hue.